parents, if you've been following Free Me, you see that they have come out with three new pumps. The Independence 2, Liberty 2, and the Rose Premium. I have recently reviewed the Liberty 1, the Liberty 2, and now in this video, I'm going to be comparing and contrasting the two. If you're interested to find out what those things are, make sure to stick around to the very end. My name is Cassandra Sisson and I love talking about reviewing and giving away baby products. So if that's your thing, make sure to subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified when I release new videos, give it a big thumbs up if you like this video, and if you want to follow me on my parenting and motherhood journey, follow me on Instagram. Shout out to today's sponsor, it is Freemi. Freemi is the first hands-free cordless breast pump that was out on the market. They were the ones that set the standard on what cordless pumps should be and have been raising the bar ever since. What I love about Freemi is that they create great products at an extremely affordable price. So if your insurance does not cover it, where you cannot get it for free, you need to purchase it out of pocket, you will not break a hole with purchasing this out of pocket. Of course, prices change, but regardless of the change, they're always extremely competitive. Liberty One Pump has been discontinued, so you will no longer be able to purchase it out on the market. However, the parts to it are still available. So if you want to purchase that, you can purchase that on the Freemi website, but it would again only be the pieces, not the pump. In regards to what comes in the box once you receive it, that has not changed from the first one to the second. What is included in the box is you will receive your Liberty Pump. You will also include the cups, and two flange sizes. You will get the 25 mm and the 28 mm. If by chance those sizes do not fit you and you need to look for inserts to adjust the size, I suggest going to freeme.com and picking. You can pick anywhere from 15 mm all the way up to 26 mm. So they have sizes to fit across the board for your needs. You will also get the charger that comes with it and then you will also get a nice little bag to carry all your things. What has stayed the same? The size. So when you purchase it, if you put them side by side, they are the same shape and size. On the bottom, it has the inserts for the tubing. On the side, it has where you insert the USB rechargeable cord. And then of course, on the back are the clips for them. The cups are the same sizes. Each one holds eight ounces of milk. So altogether, you can hold up to 16 ounces of milk. Remember, Mama, that your worth is not measured in ounces, so whether you pump just one or two, or you're able to pump a full 16, you are both equally valuable, you are doing a great job, and don't let society tell you different. I just Some more similarities is that they're both hospital strength pumps. They are both single or double electric breast pumps, so whether you need to attach both of the cups because you're going to be pumping both breasts, or you need to just use one because maybe your little one's last, or you finish latching and you realize one still has a little bit left and you want to get that out, you can adjust it and that is simple. You simply remove one of the tubes. It has a little top right here. You close the hole from the side you will not be using. You attach the cup, insert, and start powering away. Really simple. Now, what has changed? The first thing that I noticed right away that changed and I absolutely loved it they included an L shape adapter to it if you watch my first review of the Liberty I had two defaults that I didn't like and the first one was that the top you can see some of it it wasn't as discreet as what I would like and this product came out I want to say like two weeks after my review so freemium was already ahead of me must have thought of that and came up with a solution. The difference with this by adding this L shape is when you attach it to the cup, it hugs the shape of the cup. So when you have a shirt that might be a little bit more low cut compared to this one that's higher, and you have the pump inserted because it hugs it, it does not pop up and people cannot see it. Another thing that has changed are the options on the bottom. On the Liberty 1, what you would be able to choose from was the suction and the speed. On the Liberty 2, you're able to choose between the suction and the cycle. What is the difference between cycle and speed? I researched this and I was in awe that Liberty came up with this. So if you're able to breastfeed and you have your child to the breast, something that you will notice that they do is that they kind of do this vibration motion on the breast. And what that does is 
it sends signal to the breast to let it know, hey, the baby's attached, you need to do the letdown and create more milk. With the cycle, you're able to mimic how often it does that as well. With the speed, the only thing you're doing is either speeding up or slowing down the suction that your baby does. Comparing the two side by side, this is Liberty 1 and this is Liberty 2. You go ahead and you can hit the power button here. On the side, they have the suction, and on the opposite side, the Liberty 2 has a cycle and the Liberty 1 has the speed. They both go in increments of 10, so from 1 to 10 on each side. The difference between the two is that the Liberty one, once you decrease the number all the way back to one and you go one more lower, that's when the battery goes to turbo. Here with the Liberty two, once you hit 10, you hit the up function and that's when it hits turbo. So they just had it opposite there. On the top is the timer that counts down where you can set. It starts off at 40 minutes unless programmed differently. It starts in five and then you can adjust it. The button here will show and it goes in increments of five. On the top here, the features have stayed the same, one, two, and three, these are memory features. So you can select the suction and the cycle that you like. Simply pick, let's say one. If you're exclusively pumping, go ahead and play around with the, the numbers and the functions to see which one works best for you. But if you're breastfeeding and pumping, I recommend selecting settings that mimic your baby's latch. On the top here shows the battery life. It does that by showing the battery along with the percentage. As far as the inside of each cup, everything that's included when it comes to cleaning, I recommend that you hand wash it or you purchase um, breast pump sanitizer or soaps for them, putting it in a warm bowl and letting the pieces sit. I don't recommend putting it in dishwashers because the heat of the dishwasher may warp the pieces. So, but what's included in the boxes have remained the same. You have the charger, the cups, the bag, the pump, the flange, and the tubing. Remember that you are able to cut the tubes to best fit your size. Start off by cutting a little bit at a time, have the pump attached to you, and then keep snipping away until it is the perfect size. You do not want the tubes to stay super long, get caught on corners and cabinets, fall and break. So I definitely recommend trimming the tubes to your perfect size. Final thoughts on the improvements from the one to the two, absolutely loving it. My number one favorite adjustment was the L-shape adapter that they added to it. And I think changing from speed to cycle was so, such an aha moment for me. So that shows you that Liberty is already thinking 10 steps ahead, constantly researching and seeing how they can create a product to mimic best a child latch to you. So I highly recommend for you to check it out, research it, see if your insurance covers it. Companies that can help you figure that out are companies like One Natural Way. And if they don't cover it for you and you do have to purchase it out of pocket, it's not going to put a hole in your wallet. So definitely check that out. I'm putting all of Freemie's information down below along with companies that can help you contact your insurance to see if it's covered for you. So check that out. If you have any questions, drop a comment and I'll help as much as I can. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this review. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the little bell so you're notified when I release new videos. And also follow me on Instagram to stay in tune with my motherhood and parenting journey. Thank you for watching. See you soon. And if no one's told you, you're an amazing parent and you're doing a great job.